that guy is trapped. I have to help everybody I can. Oh, Lordy. Thanks. Oh, Lordy! Once I get the hell out of here. Oh, damn! I've been hauling loads for way too long in this shit old town. You better go now. And I ain't never coming back. You need a lift? No, thanks. I have to find a friend. You go, girl. You go. I am lonely. Okay, so dead body. Death is everywhere. It's following me. And we wind. No, 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 no. Don't. Ah, uh, why'd you bloody? Why are you wind? Rewinding that far? Please, somebody. Oh. Cafe. Oh, he's probably gonna help her. Shit. Alyssa needs help again. Yep. Please! I won't let you down. Alyssa, are you okay? Let me help you down. What that shit, Max? Whatever you show up, I have to get out of the way. Oh, just get ah! oh! Shit. Is there a way to get over there? So we gotta seal up that hole. Um, is there any way we can seal up that hole? Shit, Alyssa needs help again. Well, oh, no, she fucking is dead now, but we need to go back and. I. I can't think about all those children out there. Okay, right. So, we go back. Take it we can't go through there now. Right. Oh, plank! Okay, look. Come on, find some way to help Alyssa. Mm hmm. You're not gonna pick it up. Maybe I need to we will wind to where she didn't fall off. I'm doing it the slow way because every time I press control it goes too bloody far. For Pete's sake. Help you now, Max. Come on, Alyssa. Take my hand. Here I go. Right, okay. I want to turn the sound effects down a bit. Oh, never mind. Maybe I don't. Maybe it's meant to be. I'm just going to leave it a default. Because I've only ever changed the master volume, so leave everything else a default. So we prepped a listen now, so let's move on. Okay. Can we do anything with this? Oh, I can't stand seeing these bodies. Please, 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 God. Okay, entrance. How can I get out of here? 
through there, you idiot. If we can make it out of this, Chloe. This makes me so sad. Really? Why did that make you sad of all things? Okay. I just need to switch on the electricity to activate the sprinkler. Okay. Fuse box. Oh shit. It's dead. Electrocuted. Back quicker. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Oh, I know what we do. Uh, stupid me. Right. Electrocute him. You're in the building. Rewind. We can't die in this room. I can't. Come on. You have to get out of here right now. It's brilliant. Uh, I need air. Please, 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 please. Um, through the window? Yeah, through the window, right? Oh no, I can reach it from here. You should get out of here. Okay. I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. Right. Okay. Bloody hell, look at that train. Die. Like she says, would they? Hopefully that's not a clue for Warren die. As in Warren dies. Whoa, hello. Okay. Oh, right, rewind. Use Bacon. So set that on fire, maybe? Uh oh. Damn, this is blocked off. Now I have to find another way into the diner. So how do we light this? Can we use this flyer? No. Not anymore. So we need the fire to start off again, but what started the fire in the first place? I mean, it just sort of went off. Is the story? Okay. All right. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not. At least nobody's going to starve in here. For Arcadia Bay and surrounding counties. The emergency broadcast system. Go get him, Julia. As a student at Blackwater Academy, I'm torn in writing this essay. I love my school and my education, and the education it has provided, but at the same time, I have my own critical thinking abilities as a budding, budding journalist. So when I report that Blackwater has a problem, 
It's not with any glee or agenda. In fact, this probably reflects a disturbing natural national trend. In short, there are bullies at school, and they are us. Trust me, I'm trying to figure out how. I swear. Max. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. And I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gentleman. there all the it's first aid. Fact. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Ew, I'm so glad everybody is safe here. But I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. See what happens if we do this. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Matt, are you okay? What? Besides this tornado, the hole in my leg, not to mention the fact that I might die on the floor of a diner, and you're the last person I could see. You know what? I'm cool. Jesus. And I bet that thief Chloe and you didn't find Rachel, right? Rachel was dead. Oh, Frank, I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. Fuck you, Max. No, no way. She left town. She's gone. She's gone in know? a hole in the ground. All of our clues led us to my professor, Mark Jefferson. He had this creepy photo torture chamber. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Papadou hated him! Yeah. He saw... He saw Rachel. Yep. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? Maybe it is. He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is... is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No. What have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? Dead. He's going oh, no, he's to not, is he? He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. No. Neither would Chloe. Hmm. Must be spoiled. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Though Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. That'd be true. But, uh, now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. <laughs> but you're cool. You're still a fucking nut job. Alright. Uh, speak with Joyce? Come on, Max. 
Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? Oh, sh I'll find her. I... I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David are hold up somebody safe. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. Even if he doesn't always show it. Is that a penis reference? I'm sorry, Perfect Storm. Which one am I gonna go with? I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry. And I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together. Again. Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? Yep. David needs you. David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe, even if he couldn't show it. David needs you more than ever, and I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. You know, after he hit Chloe. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. But I don't know what to do anymore. I just... I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. I know. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. To come back Just home. Can't keep oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. Okay. Please be okay, Chloe. Can we talk to that other guy? No. Alright, let's talk to Warren. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. Oh! I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. You should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Oh. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Shop yeah. and dance for me. You never did in the Dum. parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where you know. Chloe Smithers, the other side of the room, not that, that far from me. Time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I start the storm, he killed Chloe. Did we start the storm? Is this like the time fucking up thing? 
right, if you change the past too much, fucks up time. I, I so crazy shit starts happening. Started. Everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not only the storm, but the eclipse. The birds, the whales, everything. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Mm. Maybe chaos theory. There you go. You fuck around with time too much. Did, did he hurt you? Mm. He dosed me. He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Busted. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Huh? Is that bad? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. Uh... I want to find out what this more time together thing is. Warren, I know this all sounds insane, but you're the only other person who I can count on now. I wish we had more time together. Do you believe me? Max, of course I believe you. I did it! Most I did it by accident. I got them together. There we go. And I'm glad you trust me. Always. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. Now, I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. Something's gonna so happen. How could there be more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Something's going to happen. Cause he said you'll do the right thing. Next to you. Which means it's gonna be a big do decision. You think this is the end? Hey, be careful out there. Easy. For luck. Just in case. There was no was tongue in that. There was no fucking tongue. I'm fucking out. Of course you do. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Why does she feel like she's dying? From now on. Please be okay, Chloe. For this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. 
I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. Hey. She just kissed you, you thanks to me. On, Cheer up. We have to find Nathan right now. He's so sorry, Warren. Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. No. Nope. We saw the proof. Now, excuse me. I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you Do coming? we have any evidence? Nathan's dead. Nathan's dead, isn't Nathan it? is dead. And you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because, because I can go back in time, you fucking... Oh. Please tell me exactly what happened. Please. Justin is... A psychopath. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Uh... Jefferson hurt me? Chloe... Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no This might idea make her really pissed I off. And here. so she makes a bad choice, I couldn't but... let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. Uh, Max, I'm... I'm so sorry. Well, now they're both crying, and I feel I bad. I dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. Whoa! Not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Here we go. I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I, I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And you were in pain. You were slowly dying. And you... You asked me to end your life. But Chloe... There was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen. And as usual, I messed everything up. And I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's that's why you should come with me so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Uh, David cares about you. Chloe, no matter how much of a douche he's been, David truly cares about you. Oh, please. Like he cared when he busted into my room. You should have seen how relieved he was when I lied to him and told him you didn't die. 
I would have crushed him. Are you serious? I... I can't see him showing any feeling. Except towards my mom. So what's your plan? We tell him everything. Including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I... I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen. In a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. 